All right, all right, you guys. I guess it is long overdue to give you just a little something. what is up you guys i'd say welcome back to another video but i almost feel like a rookie at the table right now and it feels like a first for me to be standing here filming with you guys but i am here today to bring you a sam's club haul i spent about 635 dollars i know that i owed you something so i am going to do a little chat with you guys after the haul for a big grocery haul like this i usually do attract people that don't know that I've disappeared off the face of the earth for the last four to five months. So for them, I'm going to get right into the haul. And then for after, I'll sit down and I'll talk with you guys about what's been going on and where I've been. All right, you guys. So there is your quick overview of $635 from Sam's Club. I do have my Morton Salt, of course, on the floor. And please bear with me. It's literally been six months since I have done this. I have no idea what's going to spit out of my mouth or how fast this is going to go. This is also, it almost feels new to me, but I'm kind of looking forward to chatting with you guys anyways. But I saw this out of the corner of my eye and I almost just couldn't leave it there. It's a chicken sausage variety pack. I do love the ones from Trader Joe's. This one is a honey habanero with Monterey Jack cheese. Then they have a mozzarella with roasted garlic and artichoke. That sounds really different. But then this one says Gouda and pear with savory spices. I know that sounds really fun for the summertime. Daryl just went to get fuel for our barbecue so that we can grill a lot of grilling coming up the warm weather has broke the flies are out it's all the things right now i uh, got the beef franks these are the members mark ones i even uh convinced did you get the hot dogs or you didn't oh no she said next time no she's gonna be sorry she didn't pick these up these are the ones that they serve see it says served right in our sam's cafe so the big hot dogs that you can buy at the concession stand this is the ones that they serve they're really really good we really enjoy them and the kids only need one of these and then they're full so i went and grabbed those and then i got these the last time definitely a haul you guys have not seen but there's two different layers of them so it ends up being 24 of these patties which is almost perfect for those little king's hawaiian rolls so last time we had sliders and like loaded tots and it was really really delicious so i went ahead and grabbed that again and then i did get the beef chuck all thin sliced meat that we'll probably use for a steak sandwich i do get the one from trader joe's but it's going to be a little bit before i go there i don't do large or specialty grocery trips like i used to anymore since i'm so absorbed with work so literally it's like one of these every couple of months and that even that is a big deal. Uh, I got the Jimmy Dean sausage. It's almost time to make uh, a big thing of sauce and I use the sausage for that. Uh, two packages of the boneless skinless chicken breasts. I like these the best from Sam's now. Even the ones from Walmart have gone up that still Sam's is the better deal. So I typically get my chicken from there. I did get the Jenny O's 93 lean 7% fat all natural, well, what? All natural fresh ground turkey. There's two packages. Each one is two and a half pounds. I've been making turkey meatballs. They really like my turkey meatloaf. I did that stuffed last time with a little bit of sauce and provolone. I think I did a Sicilian one. I can link that video. I think I did a Sicilian meatloaf with just regular ground beef once like a recipe that I shared but I've been doing it now with turkey and they seem to enjoy it a little bit better so I think I'm going to go ahead and save that for that uh, I did get the members mark flushable wipes I do like the ones from Costco a little bit better I went to Costco like six weeks ago I didn't need it then so uh, I ended up just being stuck to grab it now but I got those and then these pillows I could not turn away from they were two for $19.99 or something like that um, they are really fluffy really big it's coming across as gray but they're not it's like a slate blue which is almost the perfect color of my couch and I was just showing Vanessa this morning that the pillows that I have whenever I wash them like the dog hair just stays stuck to them I said I need to try like a lint brush or something and then I saw these and I said all right even if I put them all together it'll still look good if I can't get the dog hair out of the other ones then now I replace them so I love them for the 20 bucks I think it was so worth it as long as the dogs don't eat them we shall be good 
You guys, I laughed when I put this in the cart because this is the Sara Lee Artisano Bakery bread. And I was like, V, remember the days when I used to get this from the Dollar Tree for just a dollar? That was like the days before $1.25. Even that feels so long ago. Um, but she said, when was the last time you were in a Dollar Tree? And I was like, I don't even know what year is it. It's been, I just don't go anymore. Not even because I only went from my, because of the channel. I just work. So like, I don't really need to ever go and if I do I send my husband so that I'm not in there for long so this is the artisano bakery bread it's the twin pack it's our like pretty much the best bread ever it is a little pricey that's why I liked it for a dollar but the kids will be happy to see that for their PB and J tomorrow for school I uh, got some of the organic raspberries for the kiddos cotton candy grapes of course it said limited time only so I had to go ahead and scoop it up Got the bag of the scrumptious mini cucumbers for Maya to take to school. She likes them with tahini. These were on sale, the Cosmic Crisp Apples. So I got those for the kids. Just one 2% gallon of milk. I think we still have like a half a gallon. And I, of course, after even something like this, I still have to do Walmart for like those little filler things, that coffee creamer and that kind of stuff that I couldn't get here. So I'll grab more milk when I need that when I do that one next week. I uh, got the distilled white vinegar. I use that for my laundry. I grabbed that dust off stuff, like the can of air. I feel like whenever my husband is looking for it, we never have any, and it was a good deal. I think it was $13 for the four pack, so I went ahead and grabbed that for him. We were out of syrup, so I got the organic maple syrup, and then I've always, always looked through the spices, even though I can't fit any more in my cabinet. There's the maple garlic one that I've been looking that my in-laws had that I still can't find. I even asked her for it for Christmas. And after Christmas time, I said to her, mom, this is really mean. And I'm so sorry, because I hate to say like, this was something you didn't get me, but the only thing I asked you for was that maple garlic, did you forget? And she was like, oh no, honey, I've been looking everywhere for you and I still can't find it. So I think it just might be a summer seasonal thing and I'm looking forward to hopefully it'll come out this season. Um, I found the Girl Scout Thin Mint Seasoning Blend. Mason is going to dig this like absolute crazy. I can see him putting that on ice cream and stuff. And then for the seasonings, I saw the Black Cherry Chipotle. That sounds so different and really really yummy so i went ahead and grabbed that uh we have lamb from easter that i thin shaved and i froze and now i want to make gyros euros whatever you say i say uh but i need tzatziki sauce so i'm going to freeze these with my frozen lamb and when i do get to trader joe's next time i'll grab their tzatziki and i'll make some homemade euro gyros whatever and i'm looking forward to that so i got the greek pitas of course, our mission carb balanced tortillas. We're still rocking those. Uh, I love the smell of all the Axe Glone. I know Daryl does too. And I saw that these are nifty little car air fresheners. I've never seen those before. It says black. It's frozen pear and cedar wood. I don't know, a little different. It had a scratch and sniff and it was really yummy. So I got that for Daryl. Got a 24 pack of the members market cage free eggs. We were almost out of eggs. Got Maya her little mini peppers, but I still will use that for some recipes. I picked up Paul, his members mark French roast, dark roast coffee pods. I asked Maya what she wanted, and the only one thing she asked for was to see if they had the Entenmann's muffins with the little colored sprinkles in it. She said she had it at school, and she really loved it. And honestly, I probably would have said no, but it's Entenmann's and I don't say no to Entenmann's ever. So when I found them, I said, okay, she can have that. But of course she ended up with the Oh Snap pickles also. So she is gonna come home to uh, tons of goodies and very, very happy. It was 10.48 for those Oh Snap pickles though. I feel like that's crazy expensive. It's like $7 when I can score it from Aldi. But obviously Aldi is a long, long, long time away from now. Did I, have I gone since I've shared one with you? I might have gone and not shared it with you. Do you know how those things hurt my heart? I'm so sorry about that. I uh, got Ziploc sandwich bags. I needed just a sandwich this time. Needed garbage bags. Got the members mark Power Flex. It's the fresh clean ones. It's so comparable to the other brand, like the whatever Glade or Glad or whatever, but the price is so different and it's they're just as good so i got that and then i went to like i said costco maybe six weeks ago like i said and 
I don't know if I, my brother didn't work there and my membership wasn't for free. I don't know if I would continue to keep carrying it. I love the variety that Sam's has with some of their snack options. They have nothing like this ever in Costco. I got one mix from them and it was like Ritz crackers and Oreos and Chips Ahoy. Like that's it. I don't know if I've ever even bought that before, but my kids needed snacky stuff and that's all that Costco had. I saw this and I liked this so much because it's like a sweet and a salty. It has the regular nacho cheese Doritos, the Cheetos Crunchy, the sour cream and onion Lay's, and then it has the grandma's cookies. So it has the vanilla, has the chocolate chip, and then it has the peanut butter crackers. I think that's such a great mix for my kids. It'll get me through to the end of school and a little bit into the summer. And we have a lot of summer plans where we're not going to really be home. So food is not going to be an issue. Uh, pizza, especially because of work. I think my kids are going to go crazy. I'm even going to bring some in so my boss can try them. But this is the Garden Veggie Puffs, brand new in the pizza flavor. So I know my kids are going to be excited to see that. Uh, you know, we always get the fun popcorn. Again, only Sam's has that. So I would miss out on that if I didn't go. And this is the Doritos Cool Ranch flavor. I think my kids are going to love, love, love that. Uh, this one's for mom, though. It's the street roasted, fire roasted sweet corn in the street corn flavor. So pretty much street corn flavor popcorn. I am definitely all about that. So I'm excited to try that. And then... I never even heard of these, but then Vanessa said she saw it on Instagram or TikTok or something, and it's Reese's Dipped Animal Crackers. Like, that is ridiculous and delicious and needed to go in my car. Everyone's going to enjoy trying that. So I picked that up. Uh, I got this salad. I wanted it last time I went to Sam's, and I didn't grab it. It's one of their newer Taylor Farms, and I like to try all their flavors. It's the Honey Citrus Chopped Kit, so it's their cabbage with broccoli and green leaf lettuce carrots, feta cheese, cranberries, green onion, and crispy quinoa with a honey citrus vinaigrette. That sounds really good. So I'm excited to try that. This was on clearance, you guys, for $1.41. It's the Fannie Mae's, their s'mores mix. That's the peppermint one, which Mason loves so much. So how for $1.41 can I not? I didn't look to see, though. That was silly. When does it expire? Oh, not till August. Yeah, that will not make it till August. So no problems there. I got these plums for Mason. They feel really ripe. He still is growing in. He has lost, you guys have not seen him for a bit, but he has lost pretty much every tooth in the front of his mouth and things are growing in. So he's really still struggling with being able to bite into an apple or something. So I got him these plums. They're definitely good and ripe. I think he'll be able to still bite into them. I think he'll enjoy those. So I grabbed that for Mason. Uh, I got the Oreo sandwiches. It's been a really long time since we got those. Probably the last time I got those, you saw them. So it's been quite some time, but I thought it would be fun for me to grab those for the kiddos. So I got that. And then here's those garden veggie puffs again, but instead of like just a big bag, it's the little individual bags, but it has the sour cream and onion, the white cheddar and the barbecue. So between that and that, and then these, my kids will have tons of like chippy snacks and stuff. We are pretty much set for the rest of the school year. I think we only have until May 24th, and then we're leaving to go to New York for the wedding that I'm in. So it'll be before we know it school's pretty much gone so this will be good for us captain crunch berries for mason that was my compromise the only thing he asked for and then honey nut cheerios the kids like those as well i uh, got some fish sticks kids enjoy taking that for school it's a quick dinner needed some onions got those strawberries for the kids melatonin of course like if you're not new here then that's not new either that's a staple in our house for bedtime uh, got the Amiferasol. I use this once a day for my heartburn. It has helped a lot. My weight loss and that has helped tremendously. So I don't suffer like I used to, but I don't want to stop taking it because I don't want a chance ever feeling that again. So I continue to keep taking that. Got the Members Mark Chicken Bites. These are the ones that are a little picklier than Chick-fil-A, but still really good. So I went ahead and grabbed those. Had to get flowers. I just threw away my yellow daffodils that I had from Easter. So couldn't leave my beautiful looking center of my table empty, right? So I got these. I think they're pretty. 20 bucks though. Eh, not so bad. I would have done better at Trader Joe's, but still not bad for Sam's. This was new. I thought this was fun. Uh, Budweiser marinades. There's a bold and savory and a sweet and tangy. It's summertime. So I thought that would be cool for 
chickens and stuff like that, ribs. Got some Clorox too, needed that, extra virgin olive oil. And then the 30 mini cans, I've mentioned I can only get that from Sam's. It's the 10 7 Up, 10 Sun Kissed, and 10 Root Beer. I let my kids have the 7 Up ones, and they're small, so that works out perfect for them. And then the 12 pack of Gatorade. I like this one. Something's been bizarre with me lately, you guys. I don't like Gatorade anymore. It's a little strange. I don't know what happened. The only flavor that doesn't taste weird to me is blue i don't know if they've changed their formula or something but i just i'm not interested interested in it anymore and so i got the red white and blue one so if i want one i can have the blue but otherwise i'm not really one for that anymore and then i think that was it i think i covered everything besides like i said my morton salt which i get every time and i didn't get it at costco they changed their brand a little cheaper but i trust my mortons like i grew up with that chick that's being rained on with her umbrella. I think you guys, that was it. I think I covered it all. Just stay tuned. I'm gonna sit with you guys and just chat for a few minutes. I'm not gonna drag it out too, too much. Maybe I'll do a sit down video coming up a little soon with a little bit more detail. But since you waited this long, I'll give you just a little bit more to hang on to. So hold on. This feels so weird. Like I'm sitting here and I know I've done this like a million times, but it's still, feels freaking weird just saying uh all right so let me update you guys let me just i guess start off first by saying i miss you so so much i appreciate all of you i see all of the messages that always just keep coming up on facebook and on instagram i'm afraid to open the rabbit hole like i want to start thanking you guys and coming on there. I know once I start opening one, I have to open all and then people are gonna comment back and then it's just gonna end up starting this whole big conversation that I really wish that I had time for. I did not intend to just stop filming. Uh, in fact, the 12 days of Christmas was really important to me. I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to do Vlogmas the way I had done in the years past and I knew that I wanted to at least do the 12 days. It meant so much to me. There are some of you who have wrote me in the summertime and say that you're watching my Vlogmas playlist or whatever, even in the summertime, like anxious for the winter. So it meant something to me to do it for you guys, but then my computer broke again like I have a Christmas lunch video, the very last one the kids had before they went to school. I have a Christmas grocery haul that had um, a bunch of stuff that was like the last minute like stocking things and stuff and I think like a miscellaneous when we did our angel tree, Maya's Christmas recital, like there was a few miscellaneous things that I had put together already but my computer broke where it won't receive any new information. I have to say I'm still blessed. My computer didn't break to where I lost things like I did in the past. Last time I lost my hard drive and all of Lauren's wedding pictures disappeared. Like that's crushing. To me that's when your computer really takes you out. This just won't receive any new information. So I had all this stuff filmed and ready for you guys and then I went to add my coffee intro and it wouldn't take anything. I thought it was the little like SD card thing but I bought one of the ones that you put your SD card in and then you put that into the USB and that didn't work. It's just not letting me port in anything new. And I know this kind of sounds silly but I felt like it was a sign. Every time, I was just in a groove. I think I was on like day seven or something. I was starting to get in a groove of like filming. It was fun. We got to share like us going to the light park. I hate the flies, I'm sorry. Uh, there was a lot of fun stuff I had intentions of sharing with you guys. And then my computer broke. And I really just did take it as a sign. Um, our store is really busy during Christmas time. We have a lot of catering. We had our big Christmas party. I think I was talking about that with you guys. Some of the last things you probably heard me saying. It was like super, super busy at that time. And the idea of filming or editing and stuff really was like the very last possible thing I can squeeze into any free moment. But I still want to do it because it was so important. But between all the extra stuff and then any free moments that I had, I was trying to do fun stuff with the kids. I used to bake and I would do it with the kids, but then I would film it. So it was work and fun with the kids. We would go and do fun stuff and I would film it. And so it became where 
I got to work and do stuff with the kids. And this year I felt the difference. Like I had to go to work, but that didn't include them. So it was a little strange for me during the holiday season to kind of adjust to that. And I had very little time and whatever little time I had, I was gonna give into the channel. And then when my computer broke, I felt like it was just God saying like, just enjoy the moment of your job. And I don't really want to be repetitious because if anybody wants to go back to like the last 10 videos that I actually did post, I've talked about how much I enjoy my job. And so I don't want to, again, seem like a broken record because that's not fair for you guys to hear. But the truth of the matter is, is that I've grown so much as a person and I, I'm almost there a year, but I only started there just doing delivery just to kind of make some extra money when I didn't have a video to post and it was just you know to cover fun summer stuff but then when I started working with the bosses and I started meeting them and we started getting to know each other we're all the same age well she's gonna be 40 in a month and a half but we're still generally I'm 41 so we're still obviously the same age she has a very business mindset and so does her husband and Daryl and I have the restaurant experience so that they don't really have. So I feel like we blend really, really well together and I've never worked for a place that I enjoy working for so much ever. They are very rewarding. They chase me and say, hey, I think it's time that you give yourself a raise. I mean, most places you have to work forever and then you go in and you ask your boss, like, can I have a raise in there? Like, sorry, there's no room in the budget or they give you 50 cents or a dollar. Every two months I've had some kind of raise or promotion since I've started there. It's very rewarding. And Vanessa and I were talking, we rode together on the way to Sam's and I was talking to her a little bit about this. And when I was just upstairs, like doing my hair and stuff, I was thinking, that was kind of me rehearsing in a way like what I wanted to say to you guys because it's been what's kind of repeating in my head for a while now. I loved impacting your lives however I could. So many have said like, hey, now I cook Alfredo only this way or I love this recipe or thanks for your laundry tip. I'm always going to do that now. Those things are really cool. But I, besides a comment or a Christmas card or something, the odds of me really meeting someone and impacting them face to face is slim to none. And I'm getting to work with real people that I'm making a difference. And it feels, I was just telling Vanessa that on Sunday I had an, an interaction with another employee that that employee happened to observe. And after the interaction was over, I walked away and I noticed she was crying. And I was like, right, Carly, are you crying? And she was like, I'm sorry, I'm overwhelmed right now. You're such a good manager. And I was like, seriously? Why? Because I was just having a conversation with Zach. And she's like, I can't even talk right now. I have all the feels. I just love working for you. And I will take that with me forever. It, I'm, I I'm feel very fulfilled where I am right now. I feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be. Last month, we had to do a book report. I actually have another one due. He's, my boss is doing it now where we have to do it once a month. And at first, I was like, a book report? Seriously, like, this is mandatory. I have to do this. It was the most rewarding feeling. I haven't done a book report in, like, 25, 30 years, you know? This was crazy to me to do that. And I had so much fun. I did the audiobook and I did my book report and everybody got a bonus who did the book report and got to go to this big company breakfast and it ended up only being six of us out of everybody that ended up actually doing it and going out to breakfast. And it was just, it's not working for corporate and all of that, which I have done my whole life. This is real people that I sat on one side of the breakfast table and they sat on the other and we laugh hysterical and we get along and at this point now everybody has left it's down to just Daryl and I were the only managers inside of the store camera died so go figure some things don't change so that's probably my cue to kind of tie it up uh, so like I said Daryl and I are the last managers standing right now it's just us we're going into a busy season they're about to launch like a brand new app and some new menu items and a lot of really fun fun things coming up and we've just 
been preparing for all of that. We have teacher appreciation week. Like there's just so much going on. And I think last week I clocked out at like 51 hours. I do get to work a lot during the day. So it doesn't really affect me not being able to see my kids. Usually I work a little bit on the weekends and mostly during the time when they are at school. But otherwise I am like, even just out with her, I'm checking my watch, there's site visits today, they're texting me while I'm there. I just feel like when I'm not there, I'm really connected at home. So I don't intend on disappearing, but I, you obviously saw how long it took for us to get right here. My computer is still not fixed. I still have the MacBook from my boss. I have a little bit of time coming up with the wedding that I'm going to where I'm hoping that I can really dive deep into training myself how to use it. I actually lent my camera to a friend who's doing pharmaceutical videos and she's getting her license. She only has until July and she, and she has to film these little skits and she didn't have a camera. So I lent her mine and V literally had to bring me her camera, her computer, her everything because I'm literally a hot chocolate mess with nothing to even film with if I wanted to. So my plan is, since she's gonna have my computer for just a little, uh, sorry, my camera for just a little bit longer, once I get my camera back, I'm gonna start putting together like little snippets and slideshows. Like I have Maya's recital and all of those things that I know you guys want to see. Some of you have been with me since the very beginning, so you've watched you know, my kids grow up and I appreciate that so much. And so I want to still be able to share. They miss it. They've, you know, every time, every once in a while now at this point, if I'm packing up their lunch, they'll say, still not going to film, huh, mom? It was weird for them for a while to not see me film lunches and grocery hauls. It's been weird for everybody. It took a good couple of months for me to walk in and realize I could just put my groceries in the refrigerator and I didn't have to put them on the table first. So... I'm not saying I'm disappearing, and for those of you who have hung tight, I really do appreciate that. I'm gonna, like I said, string together at least a highlight video, and maybe I can share one of those with you guys, like once every couple of months. I can promise to put up a highlight video and catch up with you guys. I think once I get the hang of the new one, maybe I can share like just these kinds of grocery hauls. Like, would you guys be okay with that? So at least no sit downs or anything after but just be able to a little chit chat in the intro and closing but nothing like this just be able to say hi share a grocery haul once a month so you guys know i'm still alive kind of thing like maybe we can get to that point if you guys would be okay with that i just can 100 percent tell you i will never be able to go back to the way that i was doing things for as long as i'm still actively running a restaurant which is my dream anyways if you guys have never seen my very first video I'm, I will link it right here I will leave you guys with this okay but my very first trailer video that was like a minute and a half long or two minutes long or whatever it is that's what I said that I want to own a restaurant or I want to have a food truck but I just didn't have the funds and so YouTube was a way for me to bring my recipes and my thoughts and tips and tricks to somebody else just through the camera. Now my boss has pretty much given me free range to do that in live time. I just designed a pizza that is going on the menu. Hands down, swear to God, on my grandmother, six feet under, it was my creation. They fell in love with it. They've already even done a video on it on their social media page. Like, it's my pizza. I designed it. It's going on their menu. Like. Do you know how freaking cool that is? That's everything I ever dreamed of. So I know that for a while I'm doing that, I cannot commit to this, but don't disappear completely. Uh, I always can pop up in V's videos every once in a while. We have some things planned for the summer too coming up. And so we always can pop up there as well, but I will put something together. If you guys are cool, I'll do the big hauls, but otherwise just know that if I dive into the social media, if I do all of that, even just a little, what are you guys going to see? It's the same crap every day. I get in my car, I go to work, I put the same hat on and the same uniform on and I do the same stuff every day. So besides like my coffee flavors, I don't really have much to share right now, which is why I haven't been sharing on social media. So I apologize if I, if you reached out and I haven't gotten back, I will get 
to you guys this way at least but i love you guys thank you so much for coming back here and always checking in with me please leave my bestie alone and just let her chill know that i am safe and i am good and i will come back and i will check with you guys as much as i can and you let me know down below what your thoughts are on you know just grocery haul videos or that kind of thing all right all right you guys thank you so much i love you so much subscribe if you are new but probably not because this is probably the weirdest crazy all over the place video but you know that's how i roll all right you guys i'll see you in the next one bye